continental drift. This is a fascinating bit of history here. There's someone who looked at the shape of South America and the shape of Africa on a map and said, wait, that looks like it fits, but there's a whole ocean between them. Is there a puzzle? Did these land masses once connect? Let's test this. Well, what might you do? You say, if they once connected, might there be fossils in common on both shores, even though there's an ocean between them? So you look, the fossils match and you, other things start matching, but how the hell is land gonna move on a solid surface? No one had any idea about this. That notion that a continent would move when no one had a mechanism to make it happen, it just sort of stayed there on the shelf. The consensus was not ready to go there. Right. And so what happens after the Second World War, we're mapping the bottom of the Atlantic, so the subs know where to hide and where to go. In the center of the Atlantic, oh my, there's a ridge. There's a split in the middle of the Atlantic. Once that was uncovered and revealed, declassified and published, we had the mechanism and all the data 